Okay, so we're at the point where we're fastening everything together now for the centre squares. And I thought you might find it useful for those of you who are don't do blankets very often or um, maybe haven't seen this technique before. To join this together, the designer is recommending doing a um, double crochet. That's a UK double crochet. So it gives this nice flat seam here. And there is a slight raised seam at the back. So just in case, or for the people who are not sure how to do this. So if initially you lay your pieces together so that you know they've got you've got them correct. If you try and do everything from the reverse, it is amazingly easy to end up with pieces sort of, you know, something upside down or, um, you know, a crochet square the wrong way around or whatever. So to make sure that you've got them right, I always recommend laying things out initially in exactly as they should be. So that would be that way around. Right, then you can Put, fold it so that their face is together, so the right sides are together. And then for these corners, we've got sort of holes there in the corners, so it's nice and easy to sort of start and line them up. So just pop your hook through the two holes in the corners, faces together. And then a little bit of the yarn. So for this one, we're using the Accru yarn again, and you bring it through as normal. Leave yourself a decent tail for sewing in afterwards. Now I like to secure that with a single chain there. And then you start to match these up. So you can see these lines here. And there's another line of, I call them little love hearts, but you know, this, they're just the top of the crochet loop. So I like to Find the first one and go into it at this side, then go into, oops, popped it back out. Um, go into the one at the other side. I'm going to pick that one. That's my chosen one for this. Then find your working yarn, bring that through, and then work it as a double crochet. And once you've got your first one set up, you should find it relatively easy to pick the next ones up along and each time it's a UK double crochet. So into the hole, into the corresponding one across. Just be careful you don't end up working twice into a hole. It is incredibly easy um, to work twice into a hole. And in there, in there, grab it, bring it back through, round and through the two and just keep working across. I'll just do a few more stitches and then I'll turn it over and show you what it will start to look like. Don't pull this too tight. You're really wanting to get an even tension here. So you don't want anything that's floppy, but also you don't want to pull it too tight because you, you seems need to stretch a little bit. Um, with this, give them a little bit of fluidity. Okay, so I'll just pause that for a moment and turn it over. And you can see how you're getting that lovely, flat, neat seam going on there. And obviously at the back, you've got your little raised seam. And you can sew that tail in at the end, but just continue all the way down and then across. So you can flow it quite nicely in and across. You don't have to have too many ends to sew in. Um, so I'm going to finish that off and sew my ends in and then we'll come back to do the inner border. Okay.
Okay, so welcome to the Vintage Heart Square, which is what we're going to make today. So you have two options to start. You can either make a chain of four and slip stitch to join of the ring, or you can make a magic circle. So the way I make a magic circle is I loop the yarn around, so around my two fingers, pinching it here with my thumb. Then I bring a loop through and then this is the fiddly bit. So you have to hold on like so, and then just do a chain to secure it. And what's very important is that the tail runs down this left side. Okay, if you run it down the right side, what you're going to do there is trap the yarn and then it won't slip and you can't tighten your circle. So make sure that you've got this, this ring here and that that's going down the side. There may be another way of doing this, but that's definitely the, the way that I've been doing for quite a long time and it seems to work very well. So we've got our magic ring and I've done one chain already and then I'm gonna do another two. So I've got three chains to start that one. That counts as a treble and I'm now going to do another 11 trebles into this circle. So one, So before you tighten your circle, do just double check. So I've got my chain of three and then one, two, three, oops, let go of it, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that's twelve. So if you've done this correctly, you have got these two threads running underneath and you can very gently pull the tail and as you do, you can see that the circle tightens up and then you slip stitch into the three chain. And there you've got a lovely neat little circle and you can actually make that tighter if you wish. So really useful is, um, is a magic circle. Right, next one. We're gonna do a chain of two. So we haven't turned the work round, the work is still the same facing upwards. Um, so for round two we've got a chain of two and this isn't going to count as a stitch on this particular one. So we're then going to do a treble into the same place. So that's my treble. And then one treble into each of the next two stitches. There we go. And then eight trebles into the next stitch. So that's eight all worked into there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's got like a little extra circle there. Um, so that's eight into that stitch. Then we're going to miss a stitch. So there's one there that you've got to miss, right in that little bit there. And then a slip stitch into the next stitch. So you miss that one and slip stitch. So that's where you just grab your yarn, bring it back through and bring it through there and that nips it in. So you can, you've can you created a very definite shape there and it will make more sense in a minute because we're starting to create the love heart shape in the middle here. Um, right, so then we've to miss the next stitch, so that's that one. And then we are going to work another eight trebles into the next stitch, so that's there. 
So I'm missing that one and working eight trebles into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see how we're now starting to create this love heart effect at the top. Um, right, and then we've got one treble into each of the next three stitches. So that's one there right at the beginning, right next to it. One, two, three. And then into the next stitch, we've got seven trebles. One, two, seven trebles into there and then you have to slip stitch into the top of the first treble so that chain of three that you did, did initially we're sort of ignoring that we're going past it and we're going to slip stitch there so that one there sort of the chain of three becomes sort of part of an eight there and hopefully you can see here how we've now got the lovely little love heart section coming on. So don't break your yarn off because round three is also worked in this red yarn. Um, we've got a one chain and we're doing a half treble in the same stitch. Then we've got one half treble into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So all the way across, one into each. Then three half trebles into the next stitch. One, two, three. And then three trebles into the next stitch. So that's the longer one. That's round and through two and round and through two again. So wrap in, bring it back, round and through two, round and through two. So we're working three of those into there and then a half treble. So the shorter one where you go through all three at once, that's in there. A double crochet into the next stitch. Then you miss this, this slip stitch here and we're going to work into the next one there. So that's another slip stitch and you've actually worked it into the same stitch as the row below. So there's actually two slip stitches gone into there, one on round two and one on round three. Then one double crochet into the next stitch and then a half treble into the following stitch. And then three trebles into the next stitch. So again, that's the slightly longer one where you do round and through two and around and through two. And we're doing it three times. And then three half trebles all into the next stitch.
one half treble into each of the next 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and we're almost at the bottom point there, aren't we? So, and then we've got, just make sure I get this right now, two half treble, one chain, and another two half treble all into the next stitch. So, two half treble, one chain, two half treble. all into that bottom stitch and then a half treble into each of the next three stitches. So one, two, my final one is there, right next to where we started and then you slip stitch to here very carefully. That's it. And now we're going to fasten this off. And you can see if I just tuck that in, you've got a lovely heart shape coming in. So we'll just pause for a moment while I sew some ends in. I just want to say here, there's a little bit of an unusual one. With a half treble, you've got this bit here that you would normally crochet into but there's also a spare one round the back where and there's one for every stitch and it's fairly unique really I think this might only happen with half trebles um, and uh, for the next row we're going to be working into those stitches there so when you sew your ends in don't sew it into that little bit or you'll find that you, you kind of snarl yourself up later when you sew the end in sew it a bit lower down Okay, we'll be back in a moment with round four. Okay, so we're back with round four and yarn E, which is the ecru. And for this one, you need to be working into these back loops because we want this lovely edge here to show forward and give a really nice clear edge to the, the love heart. So you pick up one of those slip stitches around the back and pull that through and then we'll do a one chain in there. And then we're going to start doing double crochets into all these back loops so you can see how you've got your, your pairs at the front there and then we're going to go into, the first one's always a little bit tricky I find. Once you've got going, it's really, the stitches just become so much easier to see, but finding the first one can be a little bit tricky. So that's the first one right next to it. And we're going to do some double crochet. So in, double crochet, and we're going to work all the way around and Don't worry too much if you sort of end up catching a little bit more at the back. A little bit more is better than a bit less. You don't want to just end up like that with a single thread there because that doesn't give you a nice set join, a nice strong join. You need at least three or four threads at the back. So once you start working down the side, it does become much easier and we need a total of 41 of these evenly spaced around the outside so that should be one double crochet in the back loop only of every stitch of the row below. So 
we get all the way down to the bottom and then as you get there there is one that you have to miss somewhere around there the main thing is that you end up with the 41 stitches As we get back to the middle there you can see you should have a nice even set going round and um, I'm just going to do a quick count here because you don't want too many or too little. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, perfect always best to check before you do any slip stitching or cutting off or anything now um so we're, we're slip stitching to there um and then we're keeping on with this cream yarn so um don't fasten off you then we're now working as normal underneath the double so this one is round five and I'm slip stitching onto that first stitch there um, and then I want one double crochet into the next stitch after this we're then going to be doing two chains miss a stitch and do a double crochet and then three chains and miss two stitches and do a double crochet because we're setting us ourselves up to do the squaring off and to do corners so it's two chains miss one stitch go into the next one for a double crochet and then one two three chains but miss two stitches go for a double crochet and we're going to work this combination of two stay chains miss a stitch one double crochet and then three chains miss two stitches do a double crochet and we need to be doing this all the way around and then we'll do a quick count up and make sure that we have got the right number of loops for work in the next section if you've done it right you should have um, if gone a bit wrong then you would have to have just a little little bit of a re rejig so I like to have um, one of the longer chains at the point at the bottom. So two stitches, miss a stitch in. Three stitch chains, miss two stitches and in. Two chains there, miss one stitch, clip stitch, one, two, three, miss two stitches there, then two chain, miss a stitch in one, and then we should finish with three chains, miss these middle stitches here, so you, you're basically missing two, and then you're going to um slip stitch to the first double crochet that you made on the round below and that very nicely loops you across there so you've got quite a nice big loop there for the point and one at the top um, in total you should have 16 spaces so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. So that's round five. Round six, we're carrying on in the cream yarn 
and it again it, it, it's a little bit tricky you, not too hard you just need to be methodical so we're going to slip stitch into this chain space so that's literally just bringing your yarn through and doing that we're going to have a two chain and that counts as a half treble and then I'm going to do another two half trebles into the same hole so that counts as three half trebles in there you miss the stitch and you're working into the hole we want three double crochets so one two three again miss a stitch and we're doing three trebles one two sorry three half trebles three half trebles so we've got two chain two half trebles three double crochet three half trebles and then this is creating um, a cord for us and we're going to do two trebles two chains and another two trebles so that's going to form a corner for us shortly and then the next one is three half trebles each time we're working into the next chain space it doesn't matter whether it's a two chain space or a three chain space so three half trebles three double crochet and then another three half trebles two three and then we're back at the point of the heart and this is also going to be a corner so that's two trebles um, two chain and two trebles then three half trebles that's one two three half trebles three double crochet and then three half trebles again each set of three of these is in a different hole don't forget so you're moving across the sides then two trebles, two chain, and another two trebles. Okay, we're nearly back at the, the other end now. So three half trebles, three double crochet, And another three half trebles and then we're doing our final corner which is two trebles two chain and another two trebles and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the beginning chains and hopefully if I lay that out you can see now that we've gone from a heart to a square so you've got a point you've got a corner here a corner here and then your corners are at the side so I'm just going to chop that yarn off I'm going to sew my ends in and then I'll join you to do the next round on the next square okay okay so all the ends are sewn in and we're back now to do round seven so for this one we're using yarn g which is the navy blue or french navy in, in this case and you're going to join into any corner really doesn't matter which you can pick whichever you like um, we start with a chain of three so as you know I like to do one with the tail and two with the working yarn and then let's get set up to do this properly so 
so I've got a chain of three into any of the corners. Um, then we're going to work one treble, two chains, and another two individual trebles. Oops. Just felt a little bit messy there, but it'll tighten up. We're now going to work a treble into each of the stitches along here, and that should be 13, and you need to start right in the very first one in order to get all your 13 in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, that. I prefer to do it that way. I find working into that one really difficult, so I'd rather start at the earliest one. We're then going to do two trebles into the corner space, and then two chains, and then another two trebles, all in the corner space. And then we're going to start doing another 13 across. So again, I'm starting right in that very first one there. And we'll work all the way across to the next corner. And then in the next corner, repeat the two trebles, two chains, two trebles for this one. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. So we're right back at the beginning again and you simply slip stitch to the top of the starting chain like so and because we're going to be changing colours I'm going to snip it off there so you can see where you've got to now with diamond square, whichever you, you prefer to, to look at it. So we'll just sew the ends in and then we'll be back with um, round eight. Okay, so we've sewn all the ends in and for round eight you need H, which for this one is the candy floss. So lovely shade pink and we're going to join again into any of the corners so um, you know just pick pick a corner and do the usual chain and we're actually doing three in total three chains so that's one two three and then we're going to have two trebles this time. And then two chains and another three trebles. So a slight increase on. The last round. Now for this one, we're gonna start working in sets of three. So we're going to miss two stitches and then treble into the third stitch. And we're actually gonna do three trebles. Then 
then we're going to miss two stitches and work another three trebles. There, so you can see how the pattern's starting to emerge. Miss two, work into the third. Again, miss two, and work into the third stitch. And we're working this way all the way along the line, so miss two, Work into the third. And then we miss the final two and we're working three trebles into the corner. And then two chains and then we're turning the corner and working another three trebles. So you can see there how we've got a corner, a nice even line. And then we're going to start again. So we're going to miss two stitches, work into the third. And it's again three trebles. Miss two stitches, work into your third. We're going to keep doing this all the way around. And then you're missing your final two stitches here. Again, three trebles into your corner. Two chains. Miss two stitches. Three trebles. So we're right back at the beginning again and as before you need to slip stitch into the top of the chain of three and because we're changing colour again chop your yarn off and there you go. Right I'll just sew the ends in and then we'll be back for round nine. So that was your round eight finished and we're about to start round nine. Um, I've got yarn I, which for me is the Clementine. And um, I do like to try and start in different corners at different times. So I'm gonna go with this one this time. We're fairly similar to what we were working before with just a slight change. So we begin with, oops, not down there, on the side. So we begin with the chain of three. And then two trebles. Two chains and another three trebles. As before, the chain of three at the beginning, that counts as a set of trebles. 
So this time we're going to carry on working across with sets of three trebles, but this time they're working into the gaps that you've got there. So really easy to see, really easy to find. So a nice easy row to work. So you can see there that rather than working into the top of a particular stitch like you did on the row below, we're going to work into the gaps. And each time we'll have a set of three, three trebles, UK trebles. Going to work this all the way along the side as we did before. And then as we get to the corner, we're putting three trebles at one side, two chains and another three trebles. So again, you can see how the square's building up. So I'm gonna carry on working all the way around to here and then we'll slip stitch to the end. And that's another lovely brightly colored round complete. So as you can see, we're all the way around now with sets of three with two chains in the corner. And again, we do a slip stitch to join there. Oops, tangled in my yarn. There we go. Finish that off. And again, we're building up really nicely now on the square around the love heart. So I'll join you again in a moment to finish off with the final round. Okay. Okay, so here we are with the lovely orange against the pink. I think that works so well. Um, we're now going to do the final round, which is actually just the same as the round we've just worked, except we're using the cream yarn. So we do joining into a corner and one chain with the tail and two chains with the working yarn. And then for this corner, we're going to work two trebles, two chains, and then another three trebles. So it's exactly the same as the round before, just in an alternative color. So we then miss those three and work into the gap. Again, it's three trebles. So one, two, three. Miss three again and another three trebles. So exactly the same as the round you've just worked, so really nice and easy. Sometimes it's just lovely to have something a little bit repetitive um, 
because it's very relaxing to do then. So all the way along, sets of three trebles until we get to the corner. And then we're at the corner now, so it's going to be three trebles. Two chain and three trebles. And we're going to work this all the way around till we do the join here. So here we are back at the beginning and pull the slip stitch through there. And there you have it. That is your completed square and you need to make four of those to do your corners. So these are the corners, the internal corners. Um, to do before we get to the internal border. So four of those to make in total. Hope you enjoy them, they're really pretty. Um, and we'll see you in the next stage. Okay, so we're at the point where we're fastening everything together now for the centre squares and I thought you might find it useful for those of you who uh, don't do blankets very often or um, maybe haven't seen this technique before. To join this together the designer is recommending doing a um, double crochet, that's a UK double crochet. So it gives this nice flat seam here and there is a slight raised seam at the back. So just in case, or for the people who are not sure how to do this, so if initially you lay your pieces together so that you know they've got, you've got them correct, if you try and do everything from the reverse, it is amazingly easy to end up with pieces sort of, you know, something upside down or, um, you know, a crochet square the wrong way around or whatever. So to make sure that you've got them right I always recommend laying things out initially in exactly as they should be. So that would be that way around. Right then you can put, fold it so that their face is together so the right sides are together and then for these corners we've got sort of holes there in the corners so it's nice and easy to sort of start and line them up. So just pop your hook 
through the two holes in the corners faces together and then a little bit of the yarn so for this one we're using the accru yarn again and you bring it through as normal leave yourself a decent tail for sewing in afterwards now I like to secure that with a single chain there and then you start to match these up so you can see these lines here and there's another line of I call them little love hearts but you know they're just the top of the crochet loop so I like to find the first one and go into it at this side then go into oops popped it back out um, go into the one at the other side I'm going to pick that one that's my chosen one for this then find your working yarn bring that through and then work it as a double crochet and once you've got your first one set up you should find it relatively easy to pick the next ones up along and each time it's a UK double crochet so into the hole into the corresponding one across just be careful you don't end up working twice into a hole it is incredibly easy um, to work twice into a hole and in there in there grab it bring it back through round and through the two and just keep working across I'll just do a few more stitches and then I'll turn it over and show you what it will start to look like don't pull this too tight you're really wanting to get an even tension here so you don't want anything that's floppy but also you don't want to pull it too tight because you you seems need to stretch a little bit um, with this give them a little bit of fluidity okay so I'll just pause that for a moment and turn it over and you can see how you're getting that lovely flat neat seam going on there and obviously at the back you've got your little raised seam and you can sew that tail in at the end but just continue all the way down and then across so you can flow it quite nicely in and across you don't have to have too many ends to sew in um, so I'm going to finish that off and sew my ends in and then we'll come back to do the inner border